kitchen, cooking in the kitchen with Renee. So I wanted to show you what you can do if you have a lot of bell peppers that you just don't know what you want to do with them. Well, today we are going to turn those bell peppers into powder. You heard me. Yep, we're going to make a bell pepper seasoning that you can use on practically anything you want. I use the seasoning when I'm making my um, omelets, my eggs, I put it in my spaghetti, I put it in my soups, whatever you want, you can apply this seasoning to. So the things you're gonna need are bell peppers. Cut them up, slice them up, take the seeds out, and then we're gonna throw them in the dehydrator and I'm gonna show you what they look like once you put them in the dehydrator and what they look like when they're done in the dehydrator. So I've already done the steps of washing my bell peppers, seeding them, slicing them, put them in the dehydrator, and now let's see how we make the powder. As you can see, I have my dehydrator tray and they are filled with the dehydrated bell peppers. I use red, yellow, orange, and green bell peppers. So let me bring you down so you guys can actually see what dehydrated bell peppers look like. Are you ready for it? Because I know I am. I love this seasoning. And the one thing that I love about this seasoning is you can add anything to it. Whatever you want in this seasoning, you can add it. So come on, let's get these dried bell peppers into our bowl and let's get these bad boys grinded up and make some fantastic seasoning. All right, let's get busy. All right, so here are the bell peppers that have been dehydrated. Let me give you a big close up. And I have a dehydrator that has six trays. So every one of my tray has the dehydrated um, bell peppers on there. So what we're going to do is I have a bowl here and I am going to put all this dehydrated bell peppers into this bowl. I'll do a couple of trays and then I'll come back once I have all these bell peppers in the bowl. And I want you to see how beautiful the colors are of this bell pepper. Once they're dehydrated, they still retain their color and it's gonna make your seasoning just pop because of all the vibrant colors that they have. So let's just see all this wonderful colors. After I do this tray, then I will show you exactly the bell peppers, what they look like in this bowl. Sometimes they get stuck to your dehydrator, but you know what, that's okay because they're gonna get just all crunched up and uh, crushed in this food processor that I have over here that I'm gonna be using in order to make my bell peppers into this fantastic powder. All right, let me show you exactly how beautiful this, these bell peppers look. Let me bring it up closer to the camera so you can see just how nice Look at the colors. Aren't they so vibrant? Come on, you see the orange, you see the red, you see that yellow. Isn't that gorgeous? So all this is going to get grinded up into a beautiful seasoning that we can use in our everyday cooking or whatever you decide to put it in. So let me finish putting all the rest of the bell peppers in the bowl and then I'll come back. I have all the bell peppers in this bowl. Now we're just going to add them into my KitchenAid food processor. And you just load them up in there. If they fall out, you just pick them up, stick them back into your container. I probably can get all of this in this one food processor. I'm just like so excited about how the colors look of the bell pepper. I'm just going to put the rest of it because we don't want to waste any of these dehydrated bell peppers. The one thing I want to let you guys know 
is that when you slice up your bell peppers, you need to make sure that you dry them off. I usually do a towel, you know, pat them dry with a towel. And then I put them on my dehydrating trays. And then I set my dehydrator on 150 or 250, depending on the thickness of your um, bell peppers, um, will determine which setting you need to set your dehydrator on. So I'm just going to put the top on here. And then I'm just going to pulse it just a little bit because I know this is going to be loud. So I'm going to just pulse it so you guys can get the idea of what I'm talking about. And then I will finish um, grinding this up. And then I'll come back and let you guys see exactly what this powder looked like. Alright, put your fingers in your ears and get ready for a little bit of noise. Well, I usually put my hand over this because then it seems to muffle some of the noise down but I'll go like this so you guys can at least see turn it this way all right guys ready for the noise here we go so you just pulse it and check this out let's take the lid off of my mini food processor and we're going to take out any little powder that we have in here This blade and we don't want to waste any of this beautiful powder that we just made and what I'm going to do is let me show you what the powder looks like look at that isn't that gorgeous now let me take a spoonful of it so you'll even get a better idea of what the powder looks like look at that powder isn't it gorgeous look at the brightness of the powder the coloring and everything. So let's put this in a container of some powder that I have already made. So let me move this out the way and let's get this in this jar. I usually have one of these collapsible funnels that I just stick in here and then I just scoop it in there. Make sure you guys can see it. I just scoop it in here. Isn't that beautiful? And I just shake it so it'll go into the jar. This color is just so vibrant. I cannot get over this color. Look at that color. Isn't that amazing? And that's just from dehydrated bell peppers. You can have all green if you want, or you can have all yellow. It all depends on you. I always like to get the, the different colors because it makes for such a beautiful presentation of the seasoning, as you guys can see. So let me just get the rest of this in here because we do not want to waste any of this powder that we just made. And I always tap my food processor. This child, I don't want to lose anything. So look at this. Just shake it and get the rest of that powder out of there. We don't want to lose any of that. And look at this. Let me scoop it up so you guys can see. Look at that. Can you guys see? Look at that. Beautiful. That is some gorgeous looking bell pepper powder. You can put this, like I said, on eggs, put it in your spaghetti soups. You can even season it with meat, whatever. And normally what I do is I add more things to this. Like I have some of my homemade garlic um, powder. I usually add some of this in there. Oh, you remember all them onion tops? I'm telling you that I want to grow this season. This is all that I have of last season's um, onion tops. I dehydrated these too. So I usually just take a spoonful of that and look how these onion tops look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this is all homegrown, all organic, no pesticide or nothing, no chemicals. And I usually just put a spoonful of that into my powder and then I just Kind of stir it on up and it just gives it such a brightness. 
and beautiful. And if you want to stir it up even more, I usually just take the top, turn it over, and just shake it. Look at that. Look at the color of that in this canning jar, this pint size jar. And it's just so gorgeous. And then you can just stick this on wherever you store your seasonings, and you have seasonings for the rest of the winter into the next growing season. That's why I'm trying to grow so many bell peppers so I can have so much of this seasoning to use in my cooking. Okay, so I just wanted to bring this video to you to inspire you to get out there and grow bell peppers, onions, grow your garlic so you can stop going into the grocery store and spending all that money for their seasonings when you can make your own homemade bell pepper seasoning. Look at that. Beautiful. The colors, everything. Gorgeous. Or if you want to make your own dehydrated onion tops seasoning right here. Look at that. All from the tops of your onions. You just put them in your dehydrator and look at the beautiful color that it retains. You cannot tell me this is not a beautiful color. Gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm telling you, or all that garlic that you are growing out there in your garden, you can make your own garlic powder, garlic salt, whatever you need. It just takes no time at all. Just a lot of love and some patience and you can have three seasonings of your own right here made from things that you've grown right out of your garden all right guys i just like i said i just want to inspire you to get out there and grow 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 and grow your food for your family and your friends if you enjoyed this content hit your girl up with a thumbs up like comment subscribe and Miss Renee will see you in another edition of Cooking in the Kitchen with Renee. Alrighty guys, get out there. Grow some vegetables so you can make your own seasonings. Alright guys, have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And I'll check you out and see you in the next video. Look at that. Beautiful. All homegrown. Gorgeous. beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all the money we have just saved. Can't beat it. Grow your own, you guys. Grow, grow, grow. Take care.